Dowsing, why is it so difficult? A lot of people pick up dowsing rods, can't get a response and give up straight away. And then there are those that have a go, get some success, then hit a patch where answers seem to no longer make sense. And then they give up. Now I'm hoping that by following these simple steps as laid out in this series of videos, you'll be able to teach yourself to douse. And by doing so, you'll open up a whole new world to explore. But to douse effectively, we have to get comfortable with a whole bunch of things that really don't make much sense if we compare them to our normal day-to-day -day way of being in the world. One of these odd things is what's known as the question of the need to know. So what's that? And why is it so irritatingly relevant to the beginner dowser? That's coming up. Modern life can easily disconnect us from our true selves. So if you want to bring more peace, balance and harmony into your life through meditation, mindfulness and by connecting deeply to your intuition with dowsing, click subscribe, click the grey bell icon to get notified every time we upload a video or do a live Q&A. This is part six of my Learn to Douse series of videos. The whole playlist can be found by clicking the link showing on screen now. And there are all sorts of mysteries about how and why dowsing works. I'm not going to go into those today, but one of the most interesting or irritating things, depending on how you view it, is what is known as the need to know. In other words, dowsing doesn't always seem to work if the reason for dowsing isn't considered sufficiently serious or important. But who's to say what's important and what's not? Well, that's the beauty of the need to know. We talk about dowsing being information obtained from our subconscious, so all this suggests that our subconscious has an opinion on what is important enough to be doused. Now I'm what is known as a spiritual dowser, and I believe that these sort of choices are being made for us by the subconscious, but that in turn is being fed information by our spirit guides, or part of what my dear old mentor Hamish Miller would call the management. And I firmly believe that when we hit these patches where the dowsing doesn't seem to work anymore, that we're being taught by our subconscious and by the management. So if we accept that we're being taught how to relate to the world around us in a different sort of way, then the question of the need to know starts to make more sense. Now let me give you an example of what I mean. I met a novice dowser some time ago and he hadn't been dowsing long but he wanted to practice in order to prove to himself that it was all working and that his results weren't just a question of chance. Sound familiar? So in order to test this, he used to get his partner to hide playing cards under a huge rug. And when I met him, he was getting quite frustrated that he'd got quite good hit rate to start with, but as he went on, he was increasingly not getting positive results. In this case, I suggested to him to change what he doused for because by doing the same old exercise, he was no longer doing the exercise for the reason of practicing. He'd got his desired outcome, and now he was just doing it to try to repeat the success that he'd previously had. It was actually turning into an experience of frustration rather than exploration of a new process. So the need to know had passed. He no longer needed to know that his results were correct. To me, this was his spirit guides the management determining that he no longer needed to know this information, he needed to move on. He was being taught. Sometimes, especially in the early days of making a spiritual connection, the only way guides can communicate is to change the way our reality expresses itself around us. The angels and the archangels can be like architects of this reality, and we are subject to their input to a greater or lesser extent all the time. We're constantly connected to them. It's just a question of whether or not we are aware of them. Now, many doubters, me included, aren't sensitive enough to always hear actual words of our guides all the time. So often the only way the management can communicate is through changing what we experience as our reality. If a doubter starts to get a lot of incorrect answers, as is often the case after an initial period of getting a lot of good ones, then it's possible that their experience of reality is being influenced by the management and it's being suggested that they move on to explore other aspects of dowsing. These will most likely be aspects that will have a greater need to know in their outcomes. 
Need to Know reveals new information and creates development of knowledge and hence personal growth. You'd be surprised at how by paying attention to these small, almost insignificant changes in our lives, we can be led on huge life changes over a long period of time. I often say that the management work with small but significant changes, and it's the small steps that add up to create big change eventually. After all, it was the desire to understand how dowsing might work and how I could be getting the dowsing response that I was all those years ago that in the end completely and utterly changed my life. I'm recording this during the tail end of the first period of lockdown from COVID-19 in 2020. This is a time when many people look upon the current world situation as bleak, but I would urge you to look upon it as a healing experience. It's been a time of change for so many, a realisation that they can live their lives differently and actually live lives more in tune and in harmony with the natural rhythms of nature in order to look after themselves. We are living in a time of immense change and what is being shown to so many is indeed on a personal level an aspect of this whole question of the need to know. It's making many people think and consider their futures. Those who are choosing to change their lives are the ones who have asked different questions in order to fulfil their need to know about these important aspects of their lives. Clearly that is not dowsing, but even dowsing can play a part in helping to make decisions at times of change. So do practice, get confident with it, and good luck with your dowsing practice. And take care until next time. Bye bye. Hello, that was good timing. <laughs>